everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed my whole makeup collection. Um, so this is pretty much just everything I have collected so far. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Okay, so in these drawers I have pretty boring stuff. This is just some baby wipes, some isocol rubbing and deceptic which I use to disinfect all my lipsticks and lip liners and eyeliners. Some cotton tips, some makeup remover pads, a headband and some spare business cards and some tape. So that one is pretty boring. So in this next drawer, whoa it's so heavy, these are all my backups. So I have some translucent powder which I use for baking. Some lip balm, Rimmel, Stay Matte, Fuller Bronzer, some Model Co primers, these Rimmel Scandalize um, nude eyeliner pencils, which is my faves, some Instant Age Rewind in Light Fair, some mascaras, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, some more Model Co stuff. Now I'm just going to mess all this up. I have the Essence Nude Liner, which is my fave. My 1995 Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick. Wait, yeah. I have some Astralis Fresh and Flawless. I have some e.l.f. blushes, the Gerard Cosmetics BB Illumination Cream, and their Brow Bar To Go. An Oxa Lip Cream. Garnier Micellar Water, which is my fave. Real Techniques Sponge, and then some Girl Outlast 3 in 1 foundation. These were on sale for like $5, so I picked up so many. And this is just a dark nuts foundation. Then over here I have a fresh Venus palette. Oh my god. And then I have the Anastasia Contour Kit, the AC on Tour. And then in here I think there's just some nails. Yeah, just some stick on nails from Nail Her. Okay, so in this bottom drawer, this is where I usually keep all my packaging because I make canvases um, with my packaging because I just think they're too pretty to just go in the bin. So I don't really have that many because I just made a fresh canvas. So this is a pretty boring drawer. This is one of the canvases that I made with my packaging. And here's another canvas that I made with my packaging. I just hang them up around my room because I think they look really pretty. So yeah. Here's a little storage container that I got from the Makeup Box Shop AU. I'm on Instagram, I'll leave their link down below, but these are one of their storage boxes and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I'm going to just go through each drawer. In the top section of that box I have some The Balm lip glosses, some Ofra liquid lipsticks, the Carmex Moisture Plus, some Maybelline Color Drama, NYX Butter Gloss, LA Girl Glaze lip paints and some Australis Velour Lips. So in this drawer I have some brow products, I have some Pony Cosmetics um, individual brow powders. So for example they look like this, this one's in Chestnut and then I have the Australis um, Ojai Brow Kit which looks like that. And then the Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to go in dark. This is so hard to open, but that looks like that. It has a wax and then two um, different colors. Then I have some Model Co More Brows, which is apparently a really good dupe for the Benefit Give Me Brow. The Astralis Tint My Brow. Maybelline Brow Drama, a highlighting pen, a Designer Brands Extender Brow, some Ardell stuff. Brow Magic from Pony and some Essence Eyebrow Gel. So, yes. So my next drawer is definitely one of my faves. It's just got some of my liquid lipsticks. So these ones are the Anastasia ones and then I have the new Gerard Cosmetics ones in Serenity, Mercury Rising and Aphrodite. Some Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, an Ofra one, and some Lime Crime ones. So my next drawer is my concealers. I have some LA Girl Pro concealers. I have this BH Cosmetics Conceal and Corrector. I don't really use this, but I thought I would put it in there. Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. Um, a Benefit Boing Concealer. The Napoleon Color Wheel. Then I have some Instant Age Wines, a Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. 
my MAC Pro Longwear, a Maybelline Superstay 24 hour and the Maybelline Fit Me concealers which are my all time faves. So the next draw is my mascara, so I have some benefit there, real Too Faced Better Than Sex, Maybelline Lash Sensational, Essence, I Love Extreme, the Colossal, the Pony Cosmetics White Knight, and then I have some unique mascaras which I don't particularly like, um, a MAC one and a Napoleon one. So in the final draw I have my primers, so I have an Hourglass Veil Primer, Garnier Blur Cream, Face Base Primer by Model Co, Still Up One Step Correct. An Oxa Skin Perfecting Primer, Benefit Professional, an Astralis one, and I have some Essence Eye Primers, and then I have some Too Faced Eye Primers, which I never really use at all. The Essence Oil Control Base Primers that I used to be obsessed with, but I'm not so much now. And yeah, these are my primers. So here I have another makeup acrylic storage container, but it's not from the makeup box shop. Um, it's just from Catch of the Day actually and I paid like $40 for it, it was so cheap. Anyways, I keep my Zoeva Kabuki brush on top of here as well as my Beauty Blender, some full lips enhancers, um, just two little contouring brushes and my metal palette. And then behind here I have my Gerard Cosmetics lippies which you've probably seen all over my Instagram and Snapchat and here's some lip glosses as well and I also have some highlighters too this one is in the shade Lucy and this one is in the shade Audrey they're so pretty I have some discount codes if you guys are interested I'll leave them in the description box down below so yeah so in this first jar, I just have most of my lip glosses. I have some Chi Chi Cosmetics, some Rimmel, Essence, Model Co, Napoleon, Stefan, Lime Crime, Cargo, and some MAC lip glasses. So my next drawer is some setting sprays. I have some Model in a Bottle, some MAC, Fix Plus, I've got a mini one and a big version. The e.l.f. mist and set and the two NYX dewy and matte finishes and I also have this Urban Decay D Slick makeup setting spray but it doesn't fit in here so I just put it in my drawer. So in this next drawer I just have some of my BB creams and my liquid highlighters. So I have a Models Prefer one, a Rimmel one, Maybelline, Essence another Maybelline one, a Chi Chi one and a Garnier one and my illuminators are Phase of Australia, Model Co and the BB Plus Illumination Cream so I just keep all those in there. So in this drawer it's pretty unorganized but I just keep all of my gel eyeliners, pigments and loose glitters as well as my eyelash glue, some sponges that I use for baking, a sharpener and some lime crime glitter helper and eyeshadow brightness. So this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills drawer. It's one of my favorites. This is where I just keep all of my dip brows and waterproof cream colors. I have chocolate, that's another waterproof one, and ocean, caramel, dark brown, medium brown, Taup or taupe, however you want to say it. And then I have some tinted brow gels here. And then I just have a powder duo here, which just looks like this. Which I've had for so long. This is like one of my first Anastasia products ever. And then I just have some um, eyebrow gels. And then I have heaps of the brow wizards, which I actually have been using recently and I really, really like them. I have them in the shade soft brown, medium brown, and caramel. I have two medium browns. And then I just have some of their brushes that I just keep in here because they're pretty small and they always get lost in my um, brush holders. So I just have some brushes in there. So in my boring last drawer, I just have all of my liquid eyeliners. So I have some glitter ones by e.l.f., Benefit They're Real, Stila. Maybelline Hyper Sharp, which is my favorite at the moment. Um, a Bow Beauty one, the Balm Schwing, some Lime Crime ones, Hyper Glossy, the Benefit They're Real ones, BYS one, which I was obsessed with for ages, some LOL ones that I got from Kmart, Model Co, Master Precise, and yeah, this is pretty boring, but 
yeah, that's where I keep them. So in the first drawer of my Alex drawer, I just have some eyeliners and lip liners. And then at the back, I just have some um, spoolies for clients. And my friend's Lush Mint Scrub that I have to give back to her. But I'll pull these out individually and show you exactly what I have in each container. So in the first container, I have my blacks, my browns, my nudes, and my white eyeliners. Um, so some of the ones I have are the Essence, um, some Estee Lauder, the Rimmel Scandalized in Nude, which is one of my faves, another Rimmel Scandalized in Black, um, an Essence Brow Pencil, which shouldn't be in there, Mr. Right Now by The Balm in Black, um, a Tease Black Eyeliner, some BH Cosmetics, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, some Essence White Eyeliner, Mr. Right Now, again by The Balm, it's just a brown eyeliner. Some more BH Cosmetics. Um, Mr. Right Now in Nude, I love this one too. Some more brow pencils, coral colours, and this Ofra one. And then I have this Full Lips Enhancer in Cappuccino, it's just a lip liner. Some Chi Chi Cosmetics eyeliners in brown and black, and then a white one on the end there. So yeah. So this container is all of my like nude lip liners. So I have a MAC Whirl lip liner, the Essence in the Nude, some e.l.f. Spice lip liners, the Barry M lip liner in chocolate, some BYS lip liners, which are actually really affordable if you live in Australia. You can get them from Cosmetics Plus. They're only like $4 each, but I absolutely love these ones. Some Australis ones. And of course, some Essence ones. These ones are in Soft Berry and Satin Mauve. Some more Spice lip liners, because I kind of went cray. Um, another BYS one, a Rimmel Exaggerate in Addiction. And that's just another one of my um, Essence in the Nude lip liners. So this next one is just all my pinky sort of based lip liners. So I have a MAC Saw lip liner, the Essence Wish Me A Rose, Designer Brands, um, what's it called, Fuchsia Rose, the Model Co one in Illusion Lip Liner, I don't know what that even means, BYS ones, I have a red and a hot pink one and also a orange one, um, an Australis one, again it's just kind of like a dusty pink, a red one from BYS and this is also a full lips enhancer one and it's in pink daiquiri. And then I just have a, another Essence one in red blush. So yeah. So in the third container I have all of my colourful eyeliners. So I have some Savvy, some Chi Chi Cosmetics, Urban Decay, BYS again, a Stila one, um, Chi Chi, Chi Chi and Savvy again. Two of these Essence ones are actually really, really pretty. I really need to um, use these in a tutorial sometime soon, but they look really, really nice on. Another Urban Decay one. Um, this one's Essence, and then these two are just the um, Chi Chi ones again. So, yeah. So in this drawer is all of my foundations. So here I have some Fit Me um, Maybelline foundations, and I have the MAC Paulus. Then I have some L'Oreal Infallible, Kat Von D Locket, which I hate, some Revlon Colorstay, which are my faves, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Pro Mat, the Estee Lauder Maximum Cover, and then I have some Estee Lauder um, Double Wears, Makeup Forever, which I love, some NARS Sheer Glow, NARS Weightless, MAC Studio Fix, which I'm gonna get more of, some more Revlon Anoxa, and then some CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast Foundations, which I love. And at the back, I've got some L'Oreal Lumi Magique, two Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless, and two L'Oreal True Match. And then I just have a Maybelline Dream Wonder at the back. I don't think you can see it. And then I just have a Napoleon one, and then a Maybelline Stick Foundation. Yeah. So in the next drawer are all of the eyelashes that I use. So I have some LA Mink lashes. These ones are the House of Lashes Iconic and the 
um, social eyelashes that I can't buy the cases for them. So I have some social eyes, and I have some Megan Elise lashes, and I have some Living Doll mink lashes, some Smolder Cosmetics mink lashes, House of Lashes, and I have the Exo Beauty, um, the Dramatic. Um, eyelashes which are cute so yeah these are the eyelashes that I use on myself not on my clients I have another drawer full of client eyelashes that I'll show you so these are the lashes that I use for my clients so I have some Cara lashes and these are just a bunch of Ardell ones that I got sent to me that I don't really use for myself so hopefully I'll get around to using them on someone that likes them and then I have some model rock ones, some individual car lashes as well. And then I just have some red cherry lashes. And yeah, so that is my client lash drawer. So this drawer is filled with products that I haven't got around to using yet. Um, I just have some designer brand stuff, some IT Cosmetics, some Sigma Beauty stuff. Um, Model Co and some designer brands and rodeal stuff. So I'm going to get around to using those. I'm thinking of doing a designer brands one branded tutorial. So let me know if you would like to see that. So in my last drawer, it's a boring last drawer. I just have some um, Real Technique sponges, some samples in there, some powder puff things, pour pour cream, and then heaps of the um, like wedged sponges for baking, um, just the lids from some of my foundations, eyelash glue, blotting powder, I don't know why I have band-aids in there, um, some Horror and Carmex lip balms, eye makeup removal pads and some sharpeners in there and then some brushes that I don't really reach for at the very back but you can't really see them. So yeah. So my next set of Alex drawers I have my blushes, so I have Actually, no, blushes and highlighters. So I have some The Balm In Stain blushes and Hot Mama blush. And then I have the NARS Cheek Palette, which looks like this. Um, a MAC blush in Well Dressed, Benefit Dandelion blush. And then I have some like Benny Tint What's Up by Benefit little samples. Mary Lou Luminizer. Milani Baked Blushes and Luminoso and Dolce Pink or Dolce, whatever. Um, Illamasqua Lover Blush, which I love. Some Elf Blushes. I have Candid Coral, Pink Passion and Peachy Keen and another Candid Coral. Then I have the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Palette. The Becca Opal Highlighter. And then I have the Essence Blush Me Up Powder Blush. Mellow Blush in Bronze. That doesn't make sense. Um, the Model Co Blush in Amaretto Sunset. And then I just have some Maybelline um, Cream Blushes. Elf Shimmering Facial Whip. B Coyote Blush in Strawberry Kiss. This is a sample. Um, and yeah, that's all my blushes and highlighters. So in this next drawer, I keep all of my setting powders and bronzers. So I have my Australis Fresh and Flawless. I have a few of them. The Face of Australia Translucent Powder, which I use to bake. It Cosmetics um, Core Minimizer. The Maybelline Master Sculpt. Rimmel Lasting Finish. Essence All About Matte. Um, the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Hula by Benefit. Um, the Glam Bronze Eau de Soleil, never know how to pronounce that, but it's just a um, cream sort of bronzer. The Coyote Bronzer, um, the Balm Desert Bronzer, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, um, some Chi Chi ones, the Betty Lou Luminizer, the Essence Sun Club Bronzer, um, Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder, BH Cosmetics Bombshell Bronze, and then I have some Model Co um, bronzers at the back here. I have this MAC Limited Edition um, bronzer. I'm almost out of it, but I don't 
I used to like love it, but it's really, really orange. I don't know why I wore it, but I like the packaging. It's pretty. And then I have my new fave contouring powder, which is by Rodeal Cosmetics. And it just looks like this. It's just kind of like a grey based contouring powder, which I love. It's all that's in this drawer. So I saw this video from a girl on Instagram called Jess. And she bought these sort of paper tray things to store her palettes. And I thought that was such an amazing idea. So I went out and bought some for myself. They are from Ikea and they're just called paper letter trays. And they just have like a cork board sort of interior. So I'm going to show you all of my eyeshadows. So in this first section I have some Anastasia um, eyeshadows. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And my Z palette which has some Makeup Geek, Morphe and Anastasia eyeshadows in them. And then here's my other palette that didn't fit. And then at the back here I've just got some of the Balm palettes as well. I have the Meet Matte Nude and the Balm Voyage palette. So the next drawer I have are all of my like contouring palettes. So I have the Anastasia Contour Kit. Looks like that. The Australis Contour Kit, one of them is actually my friend's, so I have two of them here. Um, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. The It Cosmetics Live Laugh Love Face Vitality Disc, which I'll open. Looks like that. Um, the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Kit, which looks like that. And the Pony Cosmetics Contouring Kit, which looks like that. So, yeah. So, in the next drawer, I have the Anastasia brow pro palette which looks like this and it just has heaps of different um, colored powders for my clients and then I have the RCMA palette which is just a foundation palette which I actually bought secondhand I haven't actually used it yet which I probably should um, and my Lime Crime Venus palette which is broken Grr. and then the next one I have my Naked 2 and Naked 3 palettes which look like that and this one. And then I have the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, the BH Cosmetics That Tarte palette, and then I also have the BH Cosmetics um, Malibu sort of palette thing. It's actually pretty cool. Looks like that. And then at the bottom here, I've just got my Chi Chi um, Extravaganza palette, which I can't open. Looks like that. Next paper tray, I have some individual eyeshadows. So I have the melt ones, which look like this. They're like all magnetic, they're so cool. I actually need to use these more. I don't really use these as much as I should because I paid an arm and a leg for them. And then I just have some mellow um, individual eyeshadows, some Sigma ones, um, a Napoleon quad. Um, a Noxa and Model Co eyeshadow palette and a Stefan one as well, which looks like this. And then I have some Maybelline Color Molten eyeshadows as well. I think they're pretty new, so yes. Oh my god, battery is going low. Okay, so the next drawer I have some colorful eyeshadows. So this is the Beauty Marks Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and it's just very, very colorful. Then I have the Mellow Cosmetics Glam Squad palette, which looks like that. And the Models Prefer Shadows palette, which I never use because I think I just bought this for the brush, so lol. The final shelf I have are just my Chi Chi eyeshadows. I got these ages ago in like a bundle pack. And then I have the Classics eyeshadow palette as well. So they are all my eyeshadows. So these are some of my MAC lipsticks. I have Velvet Teddy Miss Heroin. Candy Yum Yum, St. Germain, Russian Red, Flat Out Fabulous, Another Velvet Teddy, Angel, and Brave. So they are my MAC lippies that I have. And then I have some Lime Crime um, ones. I have Airborne Unicorn, Coquette, Cosmopop, Geradium, and then I have four Essence ones. And then I have some Mellow Cosmetics ones, some Designer Brands, and then some Shanghai Susie, some Ulta 3. And then these are like MAC bullets, but they're not real. <laughs> I actually got these from eBay a few years ago. Like, they're not real at all. They just have numbers um, written on the bottom of it. So I just kind of use them for photos, but they're not real MAC. The colors are actually pretty, but 
they definitely don't last as long as the real MAC lipsticks. So yeah. So on the side here I have some full lips lip glosses and some Anoxa um, lip creams. So yeah. And then on the other side of the trolley I have some more um, Shanghai Suzy, I have some Model Co, Milani, Illamasqua, and then that's another MAC one, I don't know why that's there. No, is that real? No, this is a fake MAC one that someone sold me for like $20 and they said it was real. Okay, so my arm's starting to get sore, but they're all the lippies that I own um, on this rack. So, yeah. Time she sends me something, I actually die because... I don't know, I just would have never thought that she would recognize my work on Instagram. So I'm so 